I haven't done my makeup in a hot little minute and it's just time that I live. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is JC. This video is going to be a full makeup look on first impressions. If you're new here, I tested positive for COVID and I've been literally living in my bed for like a week and a half. I was finally able to get out of the whole quarantine mode, leave my house, and I took a little trip to Ulta. I made a very big motherfucker. Art. And I'm so excited to share what I got with you guys. It was honestly a fun little time. Stay tuned because I got some goodies to share with you guys. But if you're interested in how I got this makeup look and the products that I used, just keep on watching. I like half-assed my hair today. It does not look the best. I feel like I always say that. I already did my skincare. That's why my face is looking extra oily. I went in like i did not miss a step i got foundation primer eyeshadow highlighter bronzer even eyelashes even though that was like the hardest part like every time i film a video i forget about my brows and we're not gonna do that today and i have to do them first because i don't know i just like carving them out and making sure they look 10 out of 10. i picked up the ColourPop brow boss in the shade brunette actually i have tried this one before and i really like it it's only like eight dollars it's so so amazing i haven't tried this shade before so we are going to find out if i like this shade i'm actually going to use hair gel and i know that's so weird but i don't feel like getting my soap it's like the same effect it's just like hardening and it sticks them up so And I also feel like the product just sticks a lot better when you have like something underneath it. Even if you just use like a brow gel and then your product, I think it looks 10 times better. This color is perfect. Yeah, so good. I've been really trying to go so light on my brows. I don't know, I just really like a natural looking brow, even though it's really hard with mine because I have so many like bald spots, but I honestly think that's pretty good. I didn't even fill it in that much, but it looks pretty good to me. Cute, okay, not bad at all. I think I like the ColourPop Brow Boss more than the Anastasia one, if I'm being completely honest, and it's like $8. It's literally like $8 and it's so good. I actually picked up a new concealer brush for underneath my brows just because I needed a new one and I wanted one so I got one this is the Morphe M432 I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape because I really like this one for carving out my brows because it's like thicker and it kind of conceals the hairs underneath this brush is perfect I really, really like this brush and the brows look so natural. I never thought I would say that, but they look good. So for primer, I picked up the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. And first of all, the name was just calling me. And then when I was reading about it, everything it was talking about and claiming that this primer does, I was like, I need it. So it's a 10 in one smoothing super face primer infused with marshmallow root extract, which I didn't even know was a damn thing, but I'm so curious to see like how it feels and wears. So this primer smooths, softens, extends makeup wear for 16 hours, hydrates, soothes, even skin tone, minimizes texture, blurs lines, adds a soft focus finish and keeps makeup fresh. Honestly, if it does everything that it says that it does, I will literally never buy another primer ever again. So I'm going to take one pump. Oh, it's very soft to the touch. It has like a cooling sensation. It kind of feels like a regular like moisturizer. Me smelling it, I forgot I don't have my smell back. I lost my smell when I had COVID and it hasn't returned yet. So I can't smell shit this feels really really nice it honestly feels like if you could mix like the professional feeling you know how it like really uh smooths out your skin but with like a moisturizer texture i don't know i really like it and i hope oh oh my skin looks like a baby's mother but oh my god it has like a little tacky feeling so i know it's gonna like make the foundation cling on super well if that makes any sense 
Oh my God. I'm really, 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 really impressed with that. My face just looks like airbrushed. If you haven't checked out this primer yet, definitely go uh, uh, shit. If you haven't checked out this primer yet, definitely get your hands on it. I'm digging it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. But to be honest, the whole reason why I went to Ulta was to pick up this foundation CC cream thing. I don't really know what it's called, but it's the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. So I guess it's a CC cream. It has collagen, peptides, and niacinamide, which is like all the skincare ingredients your skin needs. I love using makeup that has like really good skincare in it. It's just like a two in one and it makes me feel like I'm not clogging my skin and stuff like that. So I'm so excited. I have two shades here. I have medium 375 and then medium 330. The medium 330 has warm olive undertones. So I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one, but I'm so excited. If this foundation looks good, I already know it's going to be like my go-to summer freaking foundation. Going in, going in, going in. Maybe I'll do one side of my face and then leave the other side of my face blank so we can like compare and contrast and shit like that. Every time I pick up my foundation shade, it's always like two to three shades darker and that's just how I like it because with my concealer and everything like blended in on top, I just like having a darker base. That's just how I rock, that's how I roll. And so far, I'm really, really liking this color. Look at the difference. Look at the damn difference. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is good. Bringing it down my neck. This looks so good. Hands down, e.l.f. did something. Like, e.l.f. did that. I don't know if it's my skincare or that primer that made it glowy, because this is natural finish, but I don't know. I don't know. But so far, like first impressions, this looks great. Like for a CC cream, this is hands down better than the It Cosmetics. Like hands down. And I've tried the Illumination one and the original one. This is so good. Oh my God. Okay. I got to move on because I'll be talking about this CC cream this whole entire video. Anyways, I picked up the Kylie Cosmetics concealer. I really wanted to pick this one up because I did have this concealer before, but I had it in a shade that was like really close to my skin tone. So I pretty much only used it for like spot concealer. I never like truly used it for like underneath my eyes and stuff like that. So, I'm excited. This one is in the shade Gypsum. I don't know. It's in the shade Gypsum, I think. So, just going to... Oh, this color looks really... I don't know. This color looks pretty damn dark. And I like my concealer to be white. It honestly feels super nice on my skin. Like, I just kind of want to apply it everywhere it's just very like silky feeling and it's a very lightweight concealer but i like that personally like, i just wish i picked up a lighter shade okay so far my skin looks so good like i had so much redness on my skin and it's like poof gone i think i'm going to go in with just a little bit of my Born This Way concealer because it is like a little bit lighter. My camera like randomly stopped recording, but all I did was apply the Born This Way concealer on top because I wanted a lighter under eye. So to set my under eye, I actually picked up a brand new powder. So I actually originally picked up the Becca Hydro Mist powder. And then I was watching reviews and it like made everyone's under eye dark. And as soon as I seen that, I was like, I got to return that. And I picked up the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This shit is bougie. Like this is bougie. I'm with it. This is so cute. I love the gold. The packaging is just everything for me. And it better be good because it was not cheap. And... Yeah, that's just that. It was not cheap. And I actually picked up the Real Techniques setting little brush because I needed a new one for underneath my eyes. And I really like how this is like super tiny. Anyways, but they said to shake it and then it gives like the perfect amount of powder on top, which is pretty damn cute. I like that. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I hate trying new setting powders because... If your under eye looks bad, like you gotta restart. You gotta do your whole makeup all over again. So. That just gave like the subtlest setting finish that didn't make any single damn sense. 
but it's not like extremely matte with like the Laura Mercier. It's so matte as soon as you set it. It gave like a nice little sheen. Oh, I really like that. I don't like my under eyes to be too, too matte, which is why I kind of wanted to branch out and try different powders because the Laura Mercier can be a little bit drying. But this is really nice. I am making the biggest mess right now, which is I'm not a fan of. My smile lines. And this brush is really nice too. I really like that. I like how small it is and it gets like in all the little cracks. I really like that. My under eyes just look so like silky, airbrushed. I'm not too matte, I'm not too luminous. Like it just set perfect, if that makes any sense. Like it didn't make me too overly drying looking. It's a 10 out of 10. So for bronzer, I finally picked up the MAC Give Me Sun, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural powder, I guess. I don't really know. I thought it was like, I thought Give Me Sun was like a bronzing line, but turns out it's just a shade, which I was very confused on. I never owned a MAC product before, so I'm very, very excited. I feel like I'm rich or something, this shit. <laughs> this looks good. I'm just going, oh, it's very powdery. <sighs> very powdery. I'm not mad about that. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch, give me sun. Give me sun. Oh my god. Nothing. This bronzer is just good. This color is so good. It blended out into like butter. Let's see. Does it look good? My face, my whole face looks good. Everything that I got, 10 out of 10. I love new makeup. So sweet. It's like the perfect color, and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. Nice. Yeah, it's so good. Now I'm applying way too much. I 100% understand the hype on this damn bronzer. I don't know where I've been. So with the warmer seasons coming around, I really wanted to get like a cream tint blush kind of thing. So I was on YouTube, I was looking up all the best cream blushes. The Benefit Lip and Cheek Stain was talked about a lot. And I honestly think a stain would definitely last a lot longer than a cream. And so I got the Cha Cha Tint, the Mango Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. But I, I have all this powder on, I don't know if it works on top of powder, so we're gonna try it out. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. And this color, I was like so indecisive when picking out what shade I wanted, but the mango was just speaking to me. And it's not lifting up my foundation, like we're still looking good. I like that cute little cheek tin and you can use it on your lips which is like amazing throw this in your purse and you're good to go and now for my favorite favorite part i am obsessed with highlight like i cannot leave without glowing to the gods i don't care if it's winter and there's snow on the ground like i am glowing this is the becca liquefied light highlighter and look at this packaging first of all it's huge this will last me forever and the packaging is so pretty. It's like iridescent, it's a cute little vibe. I just wanna like use this as decor. This is in the shade Ignite and let me just swatch it for you guys. Look at that, dude. Just going to take a little bit on the back of my beauty blender and huh, that is beautiful. And that was like the smallest amount. Oh my God. I could cry. Like, I'm obsessed with cream highlighters. I feel like they just look so much more natural. They look like you're literally glowing within, and it's just not powder, extra powder on your skin. So, a good liquid highlight goes so far for me. Oh my god, this is so good. And you're like collarbones. Oh my god. When I'm like completely done, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Oh my god. I had to. Take a moment of silence. Becca, what the f you put in here? This is the shit that I live for. 
I have this really, really pretty ColourPop California Love Pressed Powder Palette. <laughs> I really wanted to pick up a new eyeshadow palette because I've been using the same Kylie Jenner one for a long time. And the colors are literally the exact same as my Kylie Jenner palette. But they're different names, different brands, so it's different. I really like warm, neutral eyeshadow looks. So I grabbed this one. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and head into ooh, Laguna. Laguna. Pop that right into my crease. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a smaller little blending brush and pick up Gold Rush. I also got a new brush for this. I've been really liking the winged liner and like the fox eye look when you bring that liner like in your inner tear duct. So I got a new brush for that. It's the Morphe M165. I'm going to pick up this color mission. Just gonna do a little wing here and then bring it into my inner corner as well. One thing that I found that truly does help when you just literally relax your face, relax your eyes, don't pull back anything and just stamp it. When you pull your face or move your eyes, whatever, it's going to not look right when you're just relaxed, if that makes any sense. They are so uneven, but that's why I take my concealer brush and I literally like carve it out. I'm really bad at explaining what I'm doing, so I'm really sorry. When it comes to the inner corner liner, just press it and move on. If it looks a little janky, take a concealer brush, maybe even something smaller than this, and like carve it out. You have to be very gentle, but at the same time, like just don't think about it too much because when you work yourself up, it's just never gonna look good. This brush, okay, if you're having trouble doing the inner corner liner, definitely get the Morphe M165. This is good, good. This palette is so pretty and it's working so well. I'm going to pick up a, I don't know, this random ass smudge brush. Pick up that Laguna color and put that underneath my eye. I really wanna try this foil. This is called, I can't pronounce it. Sequia, Sequia. Oh, this is like glitter. I like how it's like sparse and it's not like chunky. It's kind of like just, that's pretty. So moving on to mascara, I picked up the Rocket by Maybelline and this mascara used to be my go-to in middle school. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, just remembered that I picked up some Ardell Natural Black Lashes. Honestly, when it comes to picking out lashes, I suck. I don't know the difference. I don't know how they're gonna look on. I get so like indecisive and I literally just said, okay, let's go. They're the Ardell Professional Natural Eye Lifting Effect. Comes with five pairs. So moving on to lips, we all know I love overlining my lips, so I had to pick up the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Whirl. I'm going to be pairing this with the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in the shade Seriously, and this one looks seriously amazing. This color is so fire! They look really good together. Last but not least, Morphe setting spray. Hands down, the best setting spray ever. I love how it's like an aerosol. I think that's how you pronounce it, aerosol, right? 
All right, guys, so that is going to complete this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, watching me do my makeup. I will leave all the products down below if you're interested, and I will also leave, like, my opinions on everything. I'm definitely going to, like, pay attention to everything on my face and let you guys know the tea. So definitely check out the description if you're interested in all of that. But, yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. I can't really get up to do that, so, like, bye.